sound of music. With songs of Maria, the dress you wore when you came to us, is it still in the robing room? Why, no, Mother. I'm sure it's been given to the poor. Sister Margareta said that when we enter the Abbey, our worldly clothes are... Reverend Mother, why do you ask? Maria, it seems to be the will of God that you leave us. Leave? Leave here? Oh, no, Mother, please, no. For a while only. Please don't send me away, Mother, please. This is what I want. This is... But are you ready for it? Uh, perhaps if you go out into the world again for a time, you will return to us knowing what we expect of you and that we do expect it. I know what you expect, Mother, and I'll do it. I promise. Maria. If it is God's will, where am I to go? My children have always been a credit to my name. But, Captain, they weren't. They were just unhappy little marching machines. I don't care to hear from you about my children. Well, you must hear from someone. You're not home long enough to know them. I said I don't want to I hear from you. I know you don't, but you've got to. Take Liesel. Liesel isn't a child anymore, and if you keep treating her as one, Captain, you're going to have a mutiny on your hands. And Friedrich, Friedrich's afraid to be himself. He's shy, he's aloof. Friedrich needs you. He needs your confidence. Don't! Tell me about my son. Brigida could tell you about him. She could tell you a lot more if you got to know her because she notices things. And she always tells the truth, especially when you don't want to hear it. Kurt is, is sensitive. He's easily hurt when you ignore him. You brush him aside the way you do all of them. I haven't finished yet. just wants to have a good time. You've just got to let her have a good time. March I don't know about yet, but someone has to find out about her. And little Gretel just wants to be loved. Oh, please, Captain, love Gretel. Love all of them. They need stop, you. Stop, stop it! You will pack your things and return to the Abbey as soon as you can. experience for you. It was, Reverend Mother. Has it taught you anything? I've learned that I never want to leave these walls again. Why did they send you back to us? They didn't send me back. I left. I left without telling them I was going, without saying goodbye. Maria, sit down. Maria, what happened? Why did you do this? I was frightened. Frightened? I was confused. I felt... I never felt that way before, and I knew that here I would be away from it, that here I would be safe. Oh. Maria, yeah. our abbey was not meant to be used as an escape. What is it you can't face? I can't face him again. Thank you, Sister Margareta. Sister Marta. <laughs> Maria, are you in love with Captain Von Trapp? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, tell me about it, my child. Brigida said that I was, and that her father was in love with me, and then, and then there he was. And we were looking at each other, and I, I could hardly breathe. Then I knew I couldn't stay. But you do like him. Maria? Oh, yes, Mother. Did you let him see how you felt? I did. I didn't know that I did. And that's what's been torturing me. I, I was there on God's errand. To have asked for the captain's love would have been wrong. I don't know, Mother. I do know this. I am ready at this very moment to take the vows of poverty, obedience, and chastity. 